Hello everyone, this is Amit Dhan of AmitDhan.com. If this is your first time here or if you're a repeat visitor, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying different and new ideas. If that is something you are interested in, visit for more. If you are only interested in review videos, there will be links in the description box below. Today, I'll be opening and unboxing Asus ProArt 27 inch monitor. So the model number for this monitor is PA278QV. So this is a 27 inch monitor and you can see some of the specs right here. Uh, one of them is that it, this is very color accurate and it has already you know color preset so you don't have to do anything. And this monitor you know rotates, swivels, tilts and so this is going to be very good for work for uh, from home or you know if you're a content creator and uh, this uh, will give you a better color accuracy than most other monitors because this is especially made for you know content creation or you know people who are doing uh, video editing so i'll just unbox the monitor and we'll take a look at it what we have inside and then you know i'll show you uh, how the monitor looks on my workstation and then I'll show you how the monitor looks when I set up and everything. So this is a quick look of uh, how my workstation looks right now and the monitor you're looking at is actually a 21.5 inch so this is not that uh, big so once I replace it with the new monitor I'm going to you know show you the workstation again and definitely it's going to look much bigger uh, after the monitor replacement so let's go to start um, unboxing and then I'll show you what comes with the monitor so after the unboxing this is what you get with the monitor so we have HDMI cable mini port cable power uh, cord and then we have the base so the base actually it's uh, a little bit heavy and looks like it's kind of uh, made of metal and on the other side of the base it looks like uh, this so I'll just put it here and here they provided some brochure so this is just a VIP member notice or it's just like in some sort of membership and then we have the color calibration testing report so basically the color calibration is already done for you and it has all the results right here so I'll just leave it aside here but if you want to take a look at it you can pause it and look at it later and then they provide a, ni a nice envelope and inside that here there is the another Kalman verified certification so basically it just tells that you know the monitor is Kalman verified and calibrated for creative perfection so it's just calibrated and verified and everything all done and there's nothing on this side and here there's just a small uh, manual just to you know help with the setting up for the first time and let's open it up and it looks like this inside but whenever I have something I try not to read the manual as much as possible so I'm going to just put it here and here you can see the monitor uh, sorry you're looking at my reflection also because of the light so the monitor is 27 inch and then uh, some buttons are all in here uh, this is the power button and some of the other buttons and then one uh, thing which is uh, exceptional is that the ruler so you have right a fixed ruler right here and i know that you know uh, inside the monitor you have the option to set up a ruler on other sides as well but this is kind of like you know physical ruler we have which would be very good for uh, video editing and other like you know photo editing or other works which would require a ruler and then we have some of the specs right here which we looked at it before the one thing i can see here that you know actually this is energy star qualified which i didn't uh, know before so that's a good thing uh, it's going to you know save on it's going to save on energy and then let's uh, take a look at the back of the monitor so you're going to take a look at the ports of this monitor and you can see that you know this monitor comes with lots of ports so the first one we have uh, DVI uh, I'm not sure why even they provided DVI I don't think anyone uh, uses these anymore and then we have HDMI port 
uh, this is to connect your monitor and then we have uh, display port in and we have a uh, mini uh, display port in so these are two actually uh, display port compatible uh, and then then the next one we have is the line out which is right here uh, and then we have uh, earphone jack and then we have uh, USB upstream port this is 3.0 and then we have USB downstream port uh, and then there are two more USB port which we have uh, right here and here you have the power button and here you have the power input so in terms of uh, you know ports it looks like they provided a lot of option so you don't have to like you know run through too many ports or uh, probably a few uh, adapters and converters so that's a very good thing let's uh, set this up and then I'll show you the rest of my uh, video once I finish setting up the monitor and we'll go over the color and everything I didn't have any problem setting up the monitor and making it you know operational so what I noticed that the HDMI cable ASUS provided with this monitor somehow it didn't work uh, with this monitor uh, so at first I thought that you know there's something wrong with the monitor but then I switched my uh, HDMI cable from the, my old monitor then it started working and everything seemed to be okay so what I can tell you about this monitor that you know if you look at outside that the monitor actually doesn't look uh, high-end it kind of just look you know plasticky or has the you know it doesn't uh, have that high end feeling so it kind of feels cheap and if you can look at the uh, if you look at the body and everything it's kind of you know matte finishing but somehow you know it looks very plasticky and not like you know uh, high-end product although this is an expensive monitor so I'll just go over briefly about the menus and settings so here you're going to see some of the buttons uh, which you'd require to turn on the monitor and set up the monitor uh, these buttons are too small and I wish they had you know made these buttons uh, bigger and better because uh, they also you know these buttons don't look good as well so this is the power button and then you press any one of these buttons then you're going to get the quick menu or start guide and then here you can choose like you know uh, you can choose what you want to have on this menu for example my the last two uh, options are user mode 1 and user mode 2 but you can choose or have it something else and then once you click here you can actually click any one of these and then you're going to get the same shortcut and then you have to just like you know press on the menu uh, which is going to be actually right here so you can match the icon here and here so if you press it then you're going to get the uh, option which is going to be uh, right here so for example you can see that there are some uh, settings which uh, pro art preset and then if you just you know scroll down uh, you're going to get more options like you know blue light filter and the brightness and uh, sharpness and volume and everything now once you click on the pro art setting so if you just you know click on it then you're going to get some options here and by default asus provided some of the options right here for example you can see that you know there's the standard mode which is uh, right here then srgb and then uh, rec 709 so there are lots of modes here and some of these modes actually cannot lower the brightness uh, which you know is factory set uh, you can ch change some other options but not some of uh, the for example brightness or color uh, so for example standard mode or sorry the rgb mode doesn't give you uh, that option to change the brightness because if you go here and click on it then you're going to see that you know there's no brightness mode here but you can set some options on the other modes so what i did i just you know went to user option one and two and then i just you know chose these two make everything to my own uh, preferences and that's what I have been using so something else you can see here that uh, there's the blue light filter but it doesn't work with all options some of the options have preset filter and then here is the image option and then here is the volume option the volume is uh, the sound 
uh, speaker attached to this monitor is okay it's not that high quality but you know it's not expected anyway and then here you can you know choose your cable setting and then here you have some other settings USB charging key lock uh, language and everything and then here you can change the shortcut button to choose what you want so basically these are the uh, main options now what I'm going to do I'm going to just show you some pictures to give you an idea of how the color is the color is very good I like it uh, I just uh, don't like the body uh, it looks kind of cheap or plasticky so let me just show you some uh, color uh, some pictures to show you what kind of color uh, you can expect so I'm going to just you know go to some of the pictures I chose and you can see that you know the color is really vivid and very nice color rendering so for example let's move on to the next one here you there's a little bit of reflection uh, which you, you may not be able to you know see the perfect color because of the light reflection but you know the color is really good I cannot complain about that here's another picture and another picture let me just uh, try to adjust okay so it looks like it works this way a little bit better so I'm going to just show you you know those pictures again to give you an example of the color so for example if you take a look at the color here and then here is another one and here's another one and here's another one here's one so definitely the color you're going to see through the camera and the your own monitor is not going to be a perfect match what you know you're going to see personally but uh, definitely this you know monitor uh, is very good at color rendering and everything so there's no complaint about that so I just have to complain about you know these uh, buttons and the overall looks of the monitor it looks it doesn't look like you know high-end monitor so here is what you're looking at and here is from the back of the monitor my hundred twenty five dollar HP monitor which looked much better and more expensive but somehow this is a 400 plus monitor it doesn't look that good when you're just looking at like an outside the monitor or the body of the monitor uh, I'm not talking about picture quality so definitely there's no complaint about the picture quality and video editing and everything so this is a very good uh, you know monitor for video editing or content creation uh, because you have lots of space and you get very uh, excellent color uh, rendering uh, so you don't have to worry about like you know the color looks bad or anything and let me just show you a couple of more features so this one actually has uh, some uh, some options for example you can have a ruler on the sides uh, if you turn it on so let's uh, do that and so right now you can see that you know there's a ruler right here on the edge which is going to be right here and then you can also see that this ruler right here so you can have the ruler if you want you can actually choose paper size on your screen so for example it has a4 and b5 so if you click on uh, a4 then you're going to see a paper size right here which you can match if you're trying to print something so you're not like you know doing a, a guesswork for example if you look very carefully then you're going to see the you know paper size right here and you can change it to uh, the next size which is b5 so you can see that you know there's the b5 paper size so that's another feature it has so some of these features it offers uh, like these are unique and I haven't seen I don't think I seen this to in uh, you know anywhere else so definitely if, uh, if you need those uh, it's going to come in handy uh, that type of uh, features so overall I'm uh, happy with the purchase uh, this was purchased with my own money uh, there's no affiliated links no nothing so that way you get totally honest and unbiased opinion thank you for watching this video there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you